Hey guys, welcome to Dr. CyberLogic. Today's video will be about troubleshooting this iMac here. There's a problem with it. When you try booting it up, it probably takes about 10 minutes to boot up. And then when it does actually get into the uh, Mac OS, it just spins the uh, little beach ball looking thing. So let's see if we can fix this. I have two ideas of what the problem could be. Hopefully, it's the more difficult one to make this video more interesting, but if not, eh, at least it's something we can learn. All right, let's get to it. So let's see what the problem with this Mac is. So now we're gonna try to do a recovery on the hard drive. So let's boot it up. I'm thinking that's the issue with this, is a corrupted hard drive. If this doesn't work, then I'm thinking maybe the hard drive might be going bad, so we're gonna have to switch that out, which will be a lot more work to it. But first things first, let's try this. So what we're gonna do to boot into recovery mode, start your Mac, and then when you hear the chime, press Command-R. Hold that until you see the Apple sign and then release. On a Windows keyboard, it's going to be the Windows key R. If you're using a Mac keyboard, it's going to be Command R. So when I tried booting into re recovery, it just booted up into the normal OS, which makes, makes me think there's a problem with the recovery partition. So let's boot into the internet recovery mode. So what you're gonna do on a Windows keyboard, you're gonna hit Windows key, Alt, R. If you're using a Mac keyboard, Command, Options, R. So let's give this a try and try to boot into internet recovery mode. So if you're unable to get to boot into the restore partition, like I was unable to, and it doesn't recognize the keyboard um, keys, then what you can do, like I did, is go into a different Mac, download a copy of the newest Mac OS from the App Store. After you download it from the App Store, you can find it in the Applications folder. Just search for, where is it? So you can find it in here under install Mac OS. Then what I did was I copied it to my desktop so I can find it easier. And then you're gonna download a copy of a disk creator from this website. I'm going to put a link of this website in the, in the description below. So if you need to download the disk creator to make the flash drive boot, uh, flash boot drive. So then after that, you're gonna to go to install disk creator, and then it's going to select the Mac OS that you have, and then you can also select where you want the flash drive you want to install it to, and then just hit create installer. So that's going to create the, the flash drive boot drive. Now, after that flash drive boot, uh, boot is connected, what you can do go to your Mac that you're trying to install it on, put the flash drive in. If you're able to boot the Mac, go ahead and do that. You, like with me, it took about, I would say an hour of just sitting there to, for the Mac OS to even load up even after it starts. So it took about 10 minutes to boot and then another 40, 50 minutes for the beach ball to stop spinning. So once you get that able to go in here, then you go into the Apple sign, go to preferences, and then start disk. Once you're in start disk, then you can select the flash drive that you created and reboot and it'll reboot into the flash drive, which will automatically start 
the uh, re restoration and then you can just go on from there. So now I got to boot up into recovery mode. So let's see if this fixes the issue after completely wiping the hard drives and reinstalling a new copy of Mac OS onto it. Now, if this doesn't work, then I'm gonna try replacing the hard drive. All right, so let's go to disk utility. And I'm gonna completely erase. All right, so now that that's done, let's go back and install Mac OS. And let's let that install onto the internal hard drive and let's hope that fixes the issue. So I was able to get Mac OS to boot up and now it's telling me that the keyboard is not being recognized. So I believe this might be the reason why the computer wouldn't let me boot up into the internet recovery because it wasn't recognizing the keystrokes. So hopefully if I ever have to enter it again now that I program the keyboard I'll be able to do so. So, but now it looks like everything's working properly. Everything's as fast as it can be when using a normal hard disk drive instead of an SSD. So it looks like it's going good. Everything's, op folders opening up quickly. Everything seems to be working. So there is no recovery drive partition on the hard drive. So when I tried booting into the recovery, it wouldn't work. I'm, it did not recognize the keyboard. So as you saw when I logged in, it said keyboard not recognized. So that's most likely why it didn't let me enter the internet restore partition. So what I did was I inst installed Mac, the new Mac OS onto a flash drive, booted to that, booted up into Mac OS and opened the startup disk and selected the flash drive as the startup disk. Since I was having problems with my Mac OS, this whole process took me about an hour and a half just to let everything load and boot up and just to do that, it took about an hour and a half. So once I, re then I rebooted into the flash drive and installed Mac OS and now it's working perfectly. So there's a lot of times you have to do workarounds that are confusing, but in this case it ended up working perfectly i was hoping it was going to be a problem with the hard drive that way i could open it up and change the hard drive out probably for a ssd because it still takes a long time to boot i forgot how long regular hard drives take to boot but there we go it's working now and thank you you guys have a great day thank you for watching and please subscribe